In this video, I will show you how to create your first bio. So if you go to your ePortfolio, if you haven't yet changed any of this information, it should look like this. If you chose the K-12 student profile when you were making your first ePortfolio. So here, you can select Edit, and it'll bring you to a, a Word-like document. So basically, you can delete that picture, and you click this picture right here, this is how you would insert a photo of yourself. So if you go to Browse for Media, and you can go to wherever you have your picture saved. So select a picture of yourself, and if you scroll down, right here it says alignment. Now this is whether or not the text will go around the picture or it can only go underneath. I suggest pressing left alignment, which means the picture will be to the left of the, of the word-like document and the, the text will go around it around the right. So you can press insert and see there's a picture of yourself and here if you were to type as you can see it went right around the picture And that is why I suggest doing alignment. So here, that's where you would add all the information about yourself, you know, where you're from, um, what grade level you're in, what you're studying, basic information about yourself. And then you just click Save. If it says draft, this module has unpublished changes. Just because you press save does not mean that you've published it for other people. If you would like to publish it for other people, then you could select publish all right up here. But right now, if you just want to mess around and put, put information that you're not really sure you want to publish yet, but still save it, saving will do that. It just will not be published for other people to see. Thank you for watching.